15 musicians currently rotting in jail and the reasons why. Young QC Young QC is a musician, or so he asserts, but then there are no tracks out there by which we can judge his skills on the mic. Young QC was born Kwame Wilson and he is currently serving a 99-year sentence for paying a hitman to knock off Yolanda Holmes, his mother, and a beauty shop owner. His mom had supported him in every way possible by getting him a fancy sports car, a job, and spoiling him with gifts. The car, job, and gifts, and love were all intended to make the gang life unappealing to young QC, whose father had set a less than sterling example. But young QC wanted everything right now, and so he paid an associate named Eugene Spencer to take his mom out of the equation. This was done, if in a messy and unprofessional manner. With his mom dead, young QC went on a spending spree, emptying her bank account, and on one occasion withdrawing thousands of cash and throwing it at his supposed fans. Eventually, the law caught up with him, and he was tried and found guilty on first-degree murder charges. His friend, who he paid $75 out of the $3,500 promised for the killing, got a 100-year sentence. Be sure to stick to the end to see the musician whom Kim Kardashian fought for to be freed from prison. If you thought that QC story was nuts, wait till you hear this next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more amazing videos. Shug Knight This hulking brute ran death row records with an iron hand and was perfectly positioned to witness and influence some of the most pivotal moments of gangster rap. As Death Row's CEO, Shug Knight had control of Tupac, Dre, Snoop, and others, and presided over the release of earth-shaking albums like The Chronic, Doggy Style, and All Eyes on Me. Death Row Records started well, but Tupac's death and Shug's violent tendencies, shady reputation, and lack of tact led to a speedy decline the departure of its leading figures, the eventual implosion of the firm, and its enforced sale in bankruptcy court. Now, Shug Knight was often in conflict with the law for assault, parole violations, drug possession, and more. On January 29, 2015, he first argued with and then ran over a couple of men, killing one and maiming the other. After a convoluted and dramatic trial process, he eventually pled no contest on voluntary manslaughter charges and was sentenced to 28 years in the slammer. Shug Knight's earliest parole hearing is in July 2037, but he's long been poorly and could die before then. Vibes Cartel Cartel is one of the most celebrated Jamaican reggae and dancehall recording artists world over. Everything was going well for him until a guy by the name of Clive Lizard Williams allegedly stole a firearm from him. According to police reports, Cartel didn't like this much and orchestrated the demise of Williams, unlike the musician coming up later in the video who wound up in jail for erroneously taking out an innocent homeless guy. On the 29th of December 2011, the authorities apprehended him and charged him for illicit substance and illegal firearm possession. Although he was granted bail for these, he remained behind bars in connection with the murder. His trial would then be postponed for the next three years due to inadequate jury members, and on November 18, 2013, a jury of 11 members found Vibes guilty. His trial lasted 65 days, which is believed to be the longest trial in the history of Jamaica. Cartel will be spending his life in prison, but is eligible for parole after serving 32 years and 6 months. That'd be in the year 2046, in case you were wondering. R. Kelly Robert here has legal problems that stem all the way back to the 1990s, yet he wasn't charged for all his dirty deeds until 2021. In the early 2000s, R. Kelly was one of the most popular R&B recording artists. These days, he's rotting in jail on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. People should have known something was wrong with this man in 1994. R. Kelly was 28 years old and convinced Aaliyah, who was only 14 at the time, to lie on her birth certificate so he could marry her. That strange marriage that should have gotten him arrested on the spot didn't last, but his troubling behaviors did. 
Every couple of years, it seemed like R. Kelly was getting in trouble with the law. Many of these incidents were misdemeanors, but one incident stood out. One woman made a claim in 1996 that when she was 15 in 1991, she dated R. Kelly and he caused injuries to her. He was 24 years old at the time of the incident. In 2002, a disturbing video of the music artist surfaced where he was participating in inappropriate acts with an underage female. More accounts of R. Kelly being a sick and twisted person came out that year as well. Police seized a camera he had that contained lewd photos, including minors. In some twisted turn of events, these charges were dropped because the justice system believed there wasn't enough evidence. So you might think this story is bad enough and it couldn't possibly get any worse. Oh no, this actually gets more disturbing. R. Kelly was holding more women hostage as part of an abusive cult. He would control every aspect of their lives and record explicit acts with them. Once this news broke, more women came forward accusing him of abuse. R. Kelly is currently serving 30 years in prison, having been sentenced in June 2022. Young Thug Before Young Thug released chart toppers like Pick Up the Phone and Lifestyle, he was connected to some gang crimes. On May 9, 2022, this rapper was arrested on conspiracy and gang-related charges dating all the way back to 2013. There are 56 different indictments that he is being charged with, and a lot of them are very serious. One of them connects him to the rental of the Infiniti Q50 sedan that was used to see out the murder of one of their rival gang members, Donovan Thomas Jr. If conspiracy and gang charges weren't enough, Young Thug got even more charges slapped on him after the police raided his home. They were able to charge him with possession of controlled substances with intent to sell. It gets worse for this popular rapper, as police found a number of dangerous weapons that they were able to charge him with possession of, including sawed-off shotguns and rifles. They were also able to add more gang-related charges to his case. Young Thug was connected to the YSL Street Gang and 27 other members are facing criminal charges as well. He is currently in jail until his trial, which is set to take place on January 9, 2023. There's a chance that he could face 20 years to life behind bars. Austin Jones You will know Austin Jones for his singing videos, which comprised both covers and original music that were posted on his YouTube channel that had over 500,000 subscribers on his channel and millions of views. In 2015, a music website by the name Pup Fresh reported that Austin was contacting underage girls for his selfish, inappropriate reasons. In light of this, Austin canceled his upcoming Vans Warped tour and shot a YouTube video where he admitted that the allegations were true and that he was truly sorry. On June 9, 2017, Jones's house was thoroughly searched by the authorities following a search warrant issuance by a United States magistrate judge. On the same day, Jones was arrested at the O'Hare International Airport and was sentenced to 10 years in federal prison on May 3, 2019. Shockingly, it was determined throughout the investigation that the organizers of the tour attempted to cover up his misdeeds too. His YouTube channel was shut down as expected. YNW Melly YNW Melly is behind such songs as Mixed Personalities featuring Kanye West and Suicidal featuring Juice World. YNW Melly is no stranger to the Calaboose. In 2015, he was sentenced to a year behind bars for three counts of aggravated assault. Two years later, he was back at prison for violating a probation. Between 2018 and 2019, he would be arrested two times for the possession of illicit substances and firearms. The reason Melly is on this list, though, is that in October 2018, there occurred two fatal shootings of rappers YNW Sack Chaser and YNW Juvie. Sack Chaser and Juvie were close friends of YNW Melly. Melly turned himself into the authorities on February 13, 2019. Authorities believe that Melly conspired the act with fellow YNW rapper Cortland Henry to make it look like it was a fatal drive-by shooting. He is currently behind bars awaiting his trial set for May 23, 2022. He was accused of allegedly planning a prison escape with the aid of his attorney in September 2022. Casanova 
Another music artist on our list that's currently sitting behind bars is Casanova. This criminal is looking at the possibility of spending up to 60 years in jail. His list of charges is about as long as a child's Christmas wish list. In December 2020, it made headlines that Casanova was connected to a criminal gang called Untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation. He was arrested for gun possession and gang-related charges connected to the demise of a 15-year-old. Casanova wasn't being charged with the act against the teenager. However, his connection to the gang helped police uncover more of his criminal activity. They discovered that he was connected to a robbery in New York and trafficked over 100 kilograms of controlled substances. In 2021, more fuel was added to his fire when it was discovered that Casanova and one of his friends shot a rival gang member at a nightclub in Miami. His friend was bragging about the incident through text messages, which made it easy for police to crack down on them. During the height of his legal troubles, Casanova posted on social media that he was innocent. However, the justice system has proof that says otherwise. Casanova, whose real name is Caswell Sr., is currently behind bars awaiting trial. He's due to appear in court on December 6, 2022. No matter the outcome of his trial, this artist will serve a minimum of five years behind bars. Due to the extent of his crimes, there's a chance he could be sentenced to up to 60 years. Kid Creole Kid Creole is a rap pioneer who has seen and done it all back when most of us were still in diapers. Born Nathaniel Glover in February 1960, he's an OG and a member of Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. Creole, with his brother Melly Mel and four others, made up the group, and they were influential enough to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007. But fate wasn't very kind to Kid Creole, and while he might have an easily recognizable name, he didn't have much to his name and had to work odd jobs to make ends meet. In August 2017, he was arrested and charged with the murder of a homeless guy in New York, near where Kid Creole had been working as a handyman come security guard. Exactly what happened between Kid Creole and the dead guy is unclear, but Creole is adamant that he stabbed the guy twice in self-defense. He hasn't been tried yet and remains in jail while getting ready to someday defend himself on second-degree murder charges. Jacob Hogard Jacob Hogard is a Canadian singer who jumped to fame when he placed third on the competition show Canadian Idol. He later became the lead to pop rock band Headley. Hogard has young fans all across Canada. Instead of being a role model to them, he was giving them illicit substances and taking advantage of them. The band first got into some legal troubles in 2005. A minor was found unconscious outside where they played. Since she refused to take a rape kit, the band was able to threaten the venue with a lawsuit if they spoke about the incident. Things only got worse for Headley's frontman. In 2016, one of his victims came forward about sexual abuse. This inspired another victim to come forward as well. In 2018, he was charged with sexual interference and two counts of assault causing bodily harm. One of those charges is in relation to a female that was under the age of 16 at the time. The actual trial for this singer's crimes ended up getting delayed due to COVID-19. However, on June 5, 2022, he was charged for the incident in 2016. The assault charge against the minor was dropped. He's now expected to appear in court on August 4, 2022. Gunna When it was announced that Young Thug was arrested, 27 other names were on the list that was connected to the YSL gang. One of those names rang a bell for hip-hop fans, Sergio Kitchens, also known as the rapper Gunna. This artist doesn't have nearly as bad of a rap sheet as Young Thug. Gunna is only being charged with one count of conspiracy. It's alleged that he was in possession of drugs with the intent to sell and receive stolen property. When the names were announced of who were involved in the 56-count indictment, Gunna made the right move and turned himself in. All this legal trouble started to unfold when Gunna was at the peak of his career and his music was taking off. On June 14, 2022, Gunna was allowed to post a message on social media. He put out a statement to his followers that he was innocent and being falsely accused. 
every member that was involved in the YSL gang is going to be charged for conspiring together for the illegal activity of racketeering. It's alleged that they were committing these crimes to protect and promote their group. It was announced that he was denied bail and will be remaining in jail until his trial, which is set to take place on January 9, 2023. This rapper strongly believes that the country's amendments have failed him as a citizen. Tay K. One of the youngest music artists to make our list is Tay K. This 22 year old rapper is currently rotting behind bars, serving a 55 year sentence. In 2017, Tay K was an upcoming name on the hip hop scene. His hit song, The Race, had a steady spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It's hard to say if The Race would have been a hit song or not if the following events didn't occur. On the day of the song's release, Tay K was also captured by authorities after spending three months on the run. In 2016, Tay K was part of a home invasion that put down 21 year old Ethan Walker. He was part of a group of six people that planned to rob a local drug dealer and his friend. This rapper was placed on house arrest for his part in the home invasion and robbery. Being on house arrest is no life for a thug like Tay K. He ended up cutting off his ankle bracelet and went on the run. However, before he left, he made sure to tweet about it and say that cops would have to catch him in the hood. When Tay K was on the run, he ended up fatally shooting a 23-year-old man during a robbery outside a Chick-fil-A in Texas. He also attacked and robbed a 65-year-old man who was able to identify him to the police. Tay K has been in jail since 2017, where he will serve a minimum sentence of 27 and a half years before parole. Big Lurch The next entry is one of the wildest ones on the list, and this tale sounds like one of those scary stories you would tell around the campfire. Antron Singleton rose to fame in the mid-1990s as an artist who went by the name Big Lurch. Big Lurch's debut album was a flop. Things got worse for this rapper when he was hit by a drunk driver and broke his neck. To cope with the pain from the accident and the depression from his failed career, Big Lurch turned to PCP. Unfortunately, he didn't let it wear off. Instead, he went on a bender. He didn't eat anything and just continued taking more of the substance. He was having wild visions and completely lost all sense of reality. After too much of the substance, he was convinced that the devil was living in his roommate's stomach. Singleton wasn't your average sized guy. He was a whopping six foot seven, and his roommate was only a 21 year old woman. She had no chance of fighting back when he fatally plunged at her. The drugs that he took played a big role in the crime. When Singleton was found after the altercation, he was in a daze staring at the sky. It was as though he had no idea that he had just committed a really bad crime. In November 2003, Big Lurch was sentenced to life behind bars. Due to the gruesome acts of this crime, he has no possibility of parole. He was not allowed to plead insanity because of the drugs he took prior to the incident. Jim Gordon Gordon was a popular blues and rock drummer that played with big names like Eric Clapton and Alice Cooper. Gordon was suffering from signs of schizophrenia. He was hearing voices, and his mother's was one of them. Even though Gordon attempted to seek help for his issue, he was misdiagnosed with a drinking problem instead. Eventually, the mental illness took over and Gordon lost control. One of the voices convinced him to turn on his mother. The attack ended fatally. When he was arrested for the crime in 1983, he was properly diagnosed with schizophrenia. Initially, he was sentenced to 16 years. However, he's been deemed a danger to society, so he still remains locked up to this day. Sea Murder The case of Sea Murder is one that has caught a lot of attention. In 2003, this retired rapper was arrested for the murder of a fan, 16-year-old Stephen Thomas. To this day, Corey Miller, who goes by the stage name Sea Murder, maintains his innocence. The incident started at a rap battle in 2002. When Thomas was stepping off the stage, he bumped into a member of Sea Murder's crew. This is when an altercation started that ended with Thomas being fatally shot. One key piece of information is that two of the witnesses have released testimonies that police and prosecutors pressured them into identifying Sea Murder. 
Darnell Jordan, a security guard working the night of the shooting, admitted that he was arrested and detained until he cooperated and agreed to testify against C-Murder. This case even gained attention from Kim Kardashian in 2020, who made efforts to help bring the truth to light. However, her attempts didn't work out, as C-Murder is still serving life in prison. The only way he'll get out of jail is if there's sufficient proof that he is innocent and someone else is found guilty for the act that transpired that night. Click here to see actors and actresses currently rotting in jail. See you there!